Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So starting out, I've already got half of my makeup done and on the other eye, I've got my contact already popped in. I'm going to be watching the Terminator movie on my laptop next to me just to get myself into the mood. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking a long-lasting black eyeliner from Essence and I'm just going to start roughly tracing out my design. This look is only inspired, I was not trying to recreate the Terminator look at all. I felt like I just wanted to create a really quick, really fun tutorial for Halloween or any type of party for you guys. So this only took me about 25 minutes all up, so it's a really fun, really quick tutorial and you can kind of make any design that you want, so you can copy mine or you can just create your own. So after I've finished tracing all of that out, I'm then going to go in with a glue stick and run this through my eyebrows. This is not going to protect it from the latex, but it is going to hold them down flat so they're not visible through the paint. Then I'm just going to brush that all through with the spoolie so they're nice and flat down to my face. Then I'm going to go in with liquid latex. Now you guys always ask me where I got mine from. I just purchased mine from eBay, but I recommend just picking them up from a party store around Halloween time. It's just a lot more convenient. So I'm going to be applying that with a Q-tip around the border of the scratched marks. And I'm just going to apply two really thick layers and then I'm going to let them dry. I do recommend using a hair dryer set on the cold setting and it's just going to be a lot quicker to dry your latex. After your latex is dried I'm going to go in with a pair of tweezers and you can see the different colour that the latex has once it's dried. Now I'm going to start picking at the edges and making them nice and ripped so they look like freshly ripped skin or burnt skin or anything that we're trying to go for here. After you've done that, I'm then going to be colouring this with my Clara palette. Now this is a grease paint palette. I'm going in with the metallic silver down the bottom here. You can of course use watercolours, which I do recommend are a little bit better because it's hard to layer grease paints on top of each other, but I'm not really stressed about it. Then I'm just going to take that and fill in the area as best as I can and of course I'm just going to really work that over my eyebrow so it's not very visible as well. Then I'm just going to continue on filling the other gashes that I've made in my face and if you're going to make this a look for Halloween or something like that, I really recommend making gashes on your hands and your arms just to make it a complete look and a really awesome costume. Now after I've done that, I'm going to go in with a foundation that matches my skin colour and a brush and I'm just going to start buffing the foundation over the latex to make sure that it blends in a little bit with my skin. We are going to be covering this with a lot of blood so I'm not really going to stress too much about blending it but just for the sake of realism I'm going to put a little bit of foundation on there. On a fine brush I'm going to take the black paint and start painting a circle around my eye in my eye socket area. This is going to be kind of like a squashed circle though just so it suits the shape of my eye. After I've done that I'm just going to darken up my waterline with that same essence coal black eyeliner and I'm going to line my top and bottom waterline. So now I'm just going to start painting on panels of the robotic area where it joins or something like that. Um, I actually forgot to draw the circle around the eye socket area that I had originally traced out. I just got so excited with this look because it was a robot, I just wanted to have fun with it. So this part you can kind of just go free and put as many lines and bolts as you want pretty much. To change it up I thought I'd fill in some of the panels with just a few lines just to kind of break up that solid silver and of course we're not trying to draw in like anything special because I said this is supposed to be a quick and easy Terminator look. After I've filled in those panels really dodgy I'm then going to just go around the bolts and give them a little bit of shading just again to break up that silver. Then I'm going to create some depth by adding the black colour and blending it out underneath the skin where it is ripped. Then I'm going to go in with a bright coral pink colour from the Ben Nye Stackable Grease Paints and I'm just going to start applying this around the cuts to give it a really sore and really irritated look. 
Once I applied it with the brush, I then lightly tapped it out with my hand just to blend it into the skin a little bit. After I thought it was blended out enough, I then went in and started creating small little strokes with my brush to kind of recreate scratches from where the skin has been ripped away and the robot is underneath. After that I'm going in with that same brush yet again and the red colour now. I'm going to start painting up the skin around the border of the robot just to make it nice and red for when we apply the blood on top of that. And of course I'm going to do some more scratches with that red as well just to make it really intense. Taking that black, I'm going to just give this a little bit of a charcoal and burned look because a whole bunch of stuff went on in the Terminator movie. He got set on fire and his face was ripped off. So I wanted to make this just look a little bit more charcoal-y and a little bit more of a shadow as well. So I went in and applied the black where I thought it was needed and also just added it to a little bit more of the scratches. I decided to put just a tad more red in the scratches. I don't know why, I think I kind of went a little bit overboard at this point. So maybe skip the red, it kept it a little bit more realistic when it wasn't as red. But then again, if your face was dragged across pavement, it probably wouldn't be looking too crash hot. So you can apply as much red as you want. Then I'm going to go in with Ben Nice Thick Blood. And it's pretty much just a coagulated blood gel. I'm going to just apply this with a Q-tip to give it some nice texture and some nice chunks. Then going in with that same black colour, I'm just going to apply that with a Q-tip in little dots all over the face. Then I'm going to rub that out with my finger just to make it a nice grungy, ruined, smoky look as if you've been through hell and you're really dirty and it's the end of the movie sort of thing. So after you've dirtied yourself up, then you want to go ahead with some fake blood that you've made or you've bought. I went in with the dark blood from Ben Nye and I just applied this with a Q-tip onto the ripped flesh just to give it a really nice shiny look. We've got so many different types of textures going on here. It's going to really make it look a lot more realistic considering we didn't spend a lot of time on it at all. So after I've applied the blood, that is it guys, that is the finished look. I hope you guys all really enjoyed this fun, quick and easy Terminator tutorial. If you guys recreate anything you see on my channel, please tag me on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see it. Also, I've just created a Facebook page if you haven't been watching my recent videos. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go on over there and give it a very big thumbs up for me so we can communicate and all that type of stuff. Again, I thank you all so much for watching. Please stay safe and if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below because Halloween is just right around the corner. Take care guys. Bye.